This tutorial demonstrates how to locate your data on a map by address, postal code, or by pointing. One method for creating pin maps of your data is to use Create a Map Wizard, which will guide you step by step through the process. For more information, please see the tutorial on creating a map using your data. Alternatively, you can use one of the locating commands to automatically locate your data on a map using address, postcode, city, or other information. You can also manually locate your data by pointing on a map. First, open a database or spreadsheet file with the data to locate. Then choose Tools, Locate. The submenu contains all of the locate commands available. The commands will vary somewhat depending on the country package that you have installed. In this tutorial, I'm using the United States country package, so, for example, there's a locate by zip code command that is called locate by postal code in most other country packages. If your data already have coordinate information, you would choose the locate by coordinate command. Otherwise, if you have street address data and want a high degree of accuracy, choose Locate by Address. Type a name for the new map layer and verify that Maptitude found the right fields containing the ID, address, and postcode information. Maptitude locates the features on the map and reports how many records were located. Maptitude also opens a data view for the new layer. Records that were not located or put in the selection set. Sometimes your records may be missing postal codes, or because postal codes have been renumbered or split, some of your records may not match those in the Maptitude Street file. Therefore, it is often helpful to try to locate your unmatched records using the nearby postal codes option located here on the Postal Codes tab. As you can see, one of my two unlocated records has been found. Because the address for this last record is a post office box, it was not found on the street map, but it can still be located by using the postal code to give you a good approximation of its location. So in this case I'll choose Tools, Locate, Locate by Zip Code, choose the selection set that contains the record that was not found, and choose how to locate the points. If you are locating several records by postal code, you may want to choose one of the scatter options so that you do not have multiple points on top of each other. Maptitude locates the records in the appropriate postal codes. Note that rather than running the locate command separately as demonstrated here, you could also use the locate wizard to automatically make multiple passes through your data using different location command options. Another option is to manually locate features on the map. Again, choose the selection set that contains the records to locate, and some fields to identify each record you are locating. Maptitude displays the locating toolbox. Click this button to zoom to the displayed record. Then use the Locate tool to place the record at a specific location. And if there are additional records to locate manually, you can cycle through them clicking these buttons. And now that your data are located, you can use them like any other Maptitude layer. And that wraps up this tutorial on creating a pin map by locating your data.